Hey everybody, welcome back. So, today um, I've got an empties video. So excited! If you don't know what an empties video is, um, it's basically uh, me telling you the products that I've used up and if I will purchase them again or not. So, let's just get started. I've just got it in this CVS bag. Let's see. Okay. The first thing's not really an empty, it's just something I ordered. It was this beauty spoon. Um, I saw, I think it was Leanne Says. Um, if you don't know who she is, I will link her below. But she had actually had these for Christmas or something. And I was like, that's genius. Well, basically what it is, I should have got it. It's like this. It's like a spatula, like a kitchen spatula right here. And what you do is you scrape scrape your empty containers with it and you can get every last drop there's a there was a bigger one for like lotion bottles and then there was a smaller one for like foundation bottles and stuff <clears throat> um the second thing is cut open actually um it's win cleansing conditioner the sweet almond mint and i've used every last drop because well i scraped it i cut it open and scraped it but it was like a, like a real minty scent. That's, I don't really know how else to describe it besides that. Um, yes, yes, I would repurchase this, this stuff. Oh, it was amazing. Amazing stuff. Um, the second was this, um, So Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Refreshing Dry Shampoo. Um, I have repurchased this, but I found something that I liked better, which is the Garnier Fructis Volume Extend, um, dry shampoo. I love this stuff, but this is 3.4 ounces, and this one is 7 ounces. Um, you wouldn't be able to tell that much of a difference by the bottles, but this one oh, is so much better. This one makes my hair tangly, and it leaves a, a really bad white cast, and it adds a lot of static. This one, it will leave a white cast if you go crazy with it, but if you just use what you need, it's it's perfect. It it adds volume. I can tell definitely when I use it, my hair is volumized. Um, it's it says it has orange, citrus, and grape extract, and it smells good. It smells citrusy. Um, the second thing was this um, Velocity facial cleaner from Mary Kay. Um, this stuff was good. It was expensive. It was five ounces. It lasted like six months, so um, so I would repurchase this. I'm using up some other stuff, and I will probably go back to this once I'm done. Um, the next thing is an Equate non acetone nail polish remover, and this kind um, it's got the sponge in it where you just you can see you just dip your fingers in it, and it just got too dirty, so I had to get a new one. And I, yes, I did repurchase it. Um, the second thing is actually makeup wipes. It's two of the L makeup remover cleansing cloths. I love these things. I repurchased them. As you can see, I've used two of them. This, well, it's got the cap taken off, but it's Revlon Photo Ready. Uh, color correcting primer and it's um, 002 002 um, this stuff has got a pink tint to it it was fantastic absolutely fantastic it's more of like a it's silicone -y. I don't know I liked it I um, well I scraped it out and have the rest of it in a little jar I'm using up and after it's gone I intend to purchase another one um, this is an empty I've got some things in here let's, let's do the empties um, another empty was this Revlon um, compact makeup or something new complexion and it was an ivory beige and for a while, I used it to dump my makeup in and dip my brushes in it. But then, um, I found something I liked better. Um, but it was just like a cream. 
it had the consistency of a cream blush and it came with a little a little pad spongy thing and you dipped it in it and just put it on your face and it um it worked I liked it um I probably would purchase this it I got it at Walmart it was like nine dollars ten dollars something like that but I really enjoyed it um it worked it covered everything I'd say it's about medium coverage um it's probably buildable but I never did um I finished uh Travel Size of the Dark Kiss from Bath and Body Works. Fantastic stuff. I have a full size of this um, and the spray. I think I've got two sprays and a big size of the lotion. Um, I've used up some, well, two samples, I guess. Um, one was Julep, the best petty cream ever. Oh my god, this stuff was amazing. I would purchase a full size of this. Um, this came as a sample. I ordered something and this was just a little sample in the box and I would purchase a full size of this. Um, the second one was a Mary Kay Botanical Effects Mask. Yes, I would definitely purchase this. I think um, when I buy the more, more of the Velocity, I will buy some of this. Um, right now I've got some of the Queen Helene Mint Julep Mask. Um, I like this better. I think, well, that stuff's still up there with it, but this stuff's good, too. Um, I, I will purchase a full size of this. Um, another empty is the Photo Ready 3D Volume, which I've heard is a dupe for, whoa, the sun's coming in, is a dupe for um, Benefit They're Real. I guess because the brush has the little bristles on the end. It was like a rubbery brush. This stuff was awesome. It lengthened and it separated and it added volume. It was everything you could want in a mascara. I'm going to purchase another one of these or two or three or four um, when I finish up the other stuff. Right now, I'm really enjoying the Voluminous Curved Brush. Um, so maybe I'll pair the two and see how it works. We'll see. Um, I used a brush head for my Olay Pro X. This is good the Pro X. I'll just use a brush head. Um, and some other things. Just a couple other things that needs to be gone. Um, one is the Burt's Bee Lemon Butter Cuticle Cream. I've had it forever and as you can see the edges are all dried out and gross and I um, don't want to use that on my fingers. Oh, oops. Another thing that I've used up is the Burt's Bee, Burt's Beeswax Lip Balm. And I've had this one the same, I mean you can see how old the container is. Um, so that's how old the product is. And I can, I can never get the lid off. Um, I, so I'm not going to open it and show you. Um, another, well not empty, but something I just, I didn't like anymore. The sun's driving me crazy is a uh, Revlon Photo Ready Airbrush Mousse Makeup. Um, it's the only foundation I've ever seen with the fire symbol. And this stuff, it well, it's probably old now. I don't know how long I've had it. Um, but it came out, and it was really gross how it came out. It's like, and it comes out like a foamy mousse. But when you put it on, it's like really splotchy. And it just doesn't cover well. And, and I, oh, I just didn't like the consistency of it. Another one, um, I don't, I don't know where this came from or whose this was. It was my mom's and she gave it to me. Um, it's this. Let's see. If anybody can tell me what this is, I really, really liked the texture of it. I just, I don't know what it is or where to find it. I the last, the last piece of garbage I have collected and hoarded for you guys 
is this um, from Model Co. I got it in a birch box. Um, it's the Fiber Lash Extend Extreme Lengthening Mascara. I did not like this at all. I mean, the brush is nothing special, but when you go to put it on your eyes, it did nothing for your eyes. Nothing. Um, I'm not really sure what it's, it's got a little mirror on it. I'm not really sure. I'm not sure what it's supposed to do, but it's got like these little fibers on it, and it's, well now they're not wanting to show up, but when you pull the wand out, it pulls out these little teeny fibers, um, it's supposed to attach to your eyelash and make them longer, um, I didn't like them, did not like them at all, they flaked off and got in my eyes. I had to put like six coats on to get any kind of length. It it was just this. It's from Model Co. It's not good in my opinion. I would never ever purchase this. Ever. Um, so, don't get it. Guys, have a fantastic night, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.